because we take a lot of last minute flights. So sometimes we're in coach, sometimes we're in first class. Doesn't it depends, right? I've been in first class like one time. Well, Jabe, but you have not No, haven't, I mean, and that's know? okay for you because you, you and you and Dan do that, but that's I try, good. Yeah, I travel a lot, but um, um, and I just stay home with the kids. But it's like you're in. So what yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah. is you're in first class yes, a lot. Yes, mm -hmm, um, and I'm not. No, but it, it depends because we we travel so much. A lot of it's last minute, and I, I don't know where I'm going to sit. I I've been in the last row before. Mostly I'm by the bathroom. That's just sort of our MO, right? Sure. Um, you are, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I see you because you're up closer. Yeah. Yep. And then I kind of walk past you and go all the way. I to don't the like to acknowledge like, your presence at all. Yeah. And you'll kind of be like, it's not last minute for you. Do you know what I mean? You've known about the trip for a while. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. But my ticket gets bought yeah. last minute. Yep. yep, you're last. Kind of like if I play my cards right, I Maybe. can go. Maybe. You know what I mean? We'll see. We, yeah, I mean, it's it's real touch and go with you. Real touch and go with you. Sure. Um, no, but in all sincerity, we do a lot of last minute flights. Therefore, sometimes we don't know where we're going to be or where we're going to be sitting. Like, I've had this happen to me numerous fucking times. Plus, we live in of this someone reclining? tiny town where... You have to fly somewhere yeah. to get out. There is no directs, essentially, right? Yeah. So a lot of these planes don't even have first class out of here. That's that's the hence the joke of all of this. We're on these like 12-seater flights to get the fuck out of here. We'll yeah. fly to Atlanta or Charlotte, uh, whatever. On those flights, man, there is no reason to recline. Because and in my opinion, on anything within an hour, and if there's a a, a, a big person behind you. Also, let me say this. Uh, there's many people that do not travel a lot. There's many people that haven't gotten in an air, gotten onto an airplane mm -hmm. in a couple years, right? Yeah. Like they don't travel all the time. They don't easing you in wherever they yeah. can. I mean, if you're a smaller person like yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You're a dainty little lady. I have a tall energy, but yeah. You have a very tall energy, but you're a small person in real life. Physically, yeah, but like a lot of people don't see me that way. Yeah, but it's you know you're three and a half inches above the legal maximum height for a midget. Okay? Um, one inch, but no, it's four eleven. But oh, it's four yeah, eleven. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. five one. No, dude, that's fucked up. That's legal. Not special. That's just small. Okay. Legal maximum height for midget is, is four eleven. So okay. you're about three inches above that, three and a half on a good day. Yeah, but again, like people wouldn't believe that because they're just like you're what like they're they not. never get so i have never... to tell them right now uh -huh. and when we travel together <laughs> you and coach might as well be you in first class where it's like that's why i don't i mean i don't have an issue so much room that's what i'm saying so like coach for you is like fuck man oh i spread out oh, i have my you're... three bags yeah. and my legs yeah i've Do never you know what I mean? i've never in coach i've never been able to put a uh the tr the tray down you, you, and you always like when we first started dating together i put all my drinks and shit on yours and you're like dude i don't understand why this is on your table it's like i can't put it down i physically won't go down over my legs oh i thought it was your dick yeah well that too oh okay that's too. i don't want to be crass but since okay, we're talking about so it it's... when you're packing a fucking hammer it like won't myself, go over your legs no yeah so I, I can't even put that down right um let alone some asshole reclining in front of me we've joked about that thing that you can buy for your knees the knee defender yeah and it's like, okay. So then Delta comes out. Was it Delta? I the head was, of Delta, yeah. The head of Delta comes out and yeah. says, "We're fine with it over here. American sucks, but we're fine with with it over here. We would ask that you ask the person behind you, uh -huh. um, if it's okay to recline. It's proper protocol, I think. It's the way it should be. But why are they? And I hate Judd Apatow. We okay. know that, yeah, yeah. right? And so do you, I believe. At this point, yeah. At this point, yeah. Um, and he kind of was like, fuck you, Delta. Like, now I'm supposed to get into, like, some weird negotiation with the person behind me when it... Do you know what I mean? It really is. It is completely on the airline that are sausaging, tuna canning, yeah. putting people in where we do not fit Yeah, yeah. for more money. Yeah, it's the worst. Flying is the goddamn worst. It's the goddamn worst. And I think when we all kind of wrap our heads around that, then nothing will. When you I have to have respect for one another on a flight. Um, I, the other thing, too, man, and I, I just 
Would you say no to someone? What? Just flat out no. Like if someone nice like turned around and was like, hey, do you mind if I recline? Oh, I have said no. Oh, they've asked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Numerous times. Um, the worst was- You're a nightmare. Uh, I'm not at all. And I just, <laughs> and I'm very polite about it. I'm like, hey, I'm about six, three and a half. Um, I can't, I really can't move to be honest with you. And, and a lot of times I'll apologize to them leading off and I'll say, Hey, I'm sorry if it feels like there's a knee in your back because there actually is one oh, a knee okay. in your back and it's so me you pre-empt. and I apologize. Y- yes. Like before you sit down, you kind of peek around. hundred percent. Hey, yep. sorry if I punch you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's because Nothing I you can reclined do. on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing I can do. Sorry if I punch you in the face. I'm just kind of like. And the last that one, out here's there. how far I go. And maybe it's because I travel a lot and I fly a lot. Um, on those smaller flights, I can't even stand up all the way in the no, aisle. You kind of are walking through like this. You have to. And, and so what I'll do is there was a, uh, the last flight I was on, there was a very polite lady who said, Hey, do you want to get up? You know, when the, 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 the plane is deboarding, you know, do you want to get up and stand in the aisle? Uh huh. Um, and get ahead of me yeah, and I go yeah, yeah. no because I'm I'll, I'll be like lurch just l- hunched over looking and I was like just waiting for the door yeah so I was yeah. like dude I'll I'll just go behind you it's totally fine I don't care um, but yeah so I'll ask people behind me uh, first of all I won't recline so I don't recline if I'm a coach I do yeah. not recline at all yeah. um, ever never recline but because so I'm, do I'm you assuming recline it's in somebody first class yeah but there's so much room mm. interesting yeah do you really need to recline on like an hour flight? I mean, you can't make it. Here's why. In in first, it goes back further. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, it's like it's a, a real deal. It's like a barca lounger. Sure. Right? It's like, oh shit, this is nice. Some of them even have footstools that they come out. So underneath the seat. Oh, now I have never seen that. You do go first <laughs> class though more than me. So yeah. So I have never seen that. No. So yes, in, in first you're fine because there's plenty of room. I mean, shit. Uh, a woman just brought a goddamn pony on yesterday. Another one. Oh, another pony. Yes. Different state, that's different cool woman. That that's a different thing. thing. In first. And that pony looks like it's got plenty of fucking room. And that pony. A pony. <laughs> ew, ew. ew. Genuine. Did you put the video? Did you put that song to yeah, a yeah, pony yeah, video? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Good. So up there, there's fine. Coach is a negative on that one. Uh, the rules should be this: don't recline. Um, one, especially if there's a dude behind you, just don't do it. Um, that two inches isn't worth anything, and it doesn't do anything in coach. So fuck it. Right. Um, two. I would say rule of thumb should be if there is an empty seat behind you, yeah, fuck it, recline. When does that fucking happen? Uh, well, it doesn't anymore. Ever. But if there is, great, recline, figure it the fuck out. Um, but uh, to me, personally, if they're not going to, if they're going to keep making these flights smaller or smaller, mm-hmm. they should give you the ability not to recline on these these goddamn planes. I say too, and this is, I, I apply this to life as well. Once you just come to terms with the nightmare, yeah, come to terms with the fact that it's going to be hell. You're in a greyhound in the sky. You are in a poop tube. Yep. Fart tube in the air. A fart tube in the air. Tuna canned sausage. Yeah, you're stuck. Um, I was on a flight that was like five hours and the guy was like, and I was like, can I buy food? Yeah. We don't have any food. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. And I remember. And it just like took me back to the days I used to fly when I was 15, 16 with my brother. And we would go to New York every year Yeah, to like hang out with our grandparents, which means we just drank and stole cars and we sure. were unsupervised yeah, yeah, yeah. You did in Atlantic want. City for the summer, which was amazing yeah. starting at like 14, 15. And it was just like such an amazing experience. And I would like dress up and like we would get food, like two or three different meals yeah. and drinks. Yeah. And it was just so amazing. Yeah. You know? I- and as soon as he said that to me, <laughs> I just was like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, what a fucking difference. Yeah. So what happens? Like, what do you mean? Not to buy, not anything. Five hours, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. You get, uh, you know, some peanuts, some pretzels, 
and a little, uh, yeah. you know, a can of whatever the fuck you want, right? Soda wise. That's about it. Maybe some waters. Um, but back in the day, you know, like you were saying. Like, what if we crash? But yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, like you were saying, you weren't going through, first of all, the, the, the seats were bigger. You could fucking smoke on planes back in the day. Smoke on planes. You could check bags for free. For free. So people aren't yeah. uh, uh, trying to squeeze their fucking yeah. whole wardrobe every flight above them just to save twenty five dollars. Every flight isn't. We'll give you three hundred dollars in vouchers if you fucking we're way overbooked. That's your fault for over fucking booking it. Um, what if we so. got lost at sea? Yeah. All you have is crackers. That's it. That's it. So here's what they're doing. They're selling food now. I, I'm, I'll give okay, you the, and I'm fine, but they didn't even have that. I'll give you the, the tricks of the trade here, too. The best item you can get is the cheese and fruit plate. Everybody have, knows that. I every, asked for that. Everybody they knows that. They sell out in the first, like, 10 rows. So you're, you're boned after that, right? Um, you can't really sneak booze on a plane. Mm -hmm. uh, did that last time. Remember, I got a bottle of wine confiscated oh, from pro me. pro tip. <laughs> pro tip, though, guys. We figured out. If you buy one, if you have a bottle of wine, the stewardess will take it from you yeah. and pour you glasses when you want them. Yeah. So that's what happened when it was just like, eh, fuck this. Now, were you in first? We got stuck. Probably. No, we weren't. No. We weren't. Mm. So. Pro tip, yeah. Pro that's tip. a good one. Bro I wonder tip. if they do it with vodka. But Bring that guy, Jaeger, that guy, by Red the way, Bull. is an asshole. He should have at least said, hey, ma'am, could you put your seat up? I'm tall or I can't fit or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day. But I'm now, telling you, I've he had was it. at the end of his rope. We don't know how many times he was rerouted, delayed. Like he was at the end and yeah. you've been there. Like yeah. I said, we've all been there. The end of your rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this fuck, and he's sitting there, and go, go, it goes right back, yep. right? Yeah. And I understand the snap, and it, it really is just like a, it's a mental break, yeah. is what he had, and I completely understand. I had it. a mental break on a plane over that one time. Yeah. O over, so there was this couple. Um, it was a long flight. It was uh, L.A. to Miami, is where I was going, which is pff, good night, sweet Charlotte, right? Mm -hmm. No first, no nothing. I'm the coach, and uh, there was a woman. And her husband, and the woman was ahead of me, and she tries to <laughs> recline back, right? And she's <laughs> looking around, looking back at me, and I go, I finally said, ma'am, I'm a really tall guy. I'm about six, three and a half. There is nowhere for your seat to go, so I apologize. Um, it won't, you won't be able to recline. Maybe most, switch with your husband most or people something. Aren't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And that's what I said. I said, Swi you can switch with your husband. And I guess that would have put her husband in a middle seat. Mm -hmm. um, and so she was like, well, I'm just going to keep trying. And I go, you can try the whole goddamn flight. It's not going anywhere. I'm just going to keep trying. Yeah. And she, she did it like three more times. And I go, I go, do you want me to cut my fucking legs off? Because that's the only way your seat is going back. Mm, this is fun. Wait, this here's is the a real fun here, time. And the, I'm glad I wasn't there. Here's the crazy part of this, right? Now I'm starting to lose my patience, right? After the fucking 12th time of her slamming, trying to slam her seat back through my legs, um, uh, I get up about an hour and a half into this flight. Cause it's about a five and a half hour flight to, from Miami to L.A. Five and a half. Yeah, Ugh, exactly. And I go to the bathroom and I come back and her seat is reclined. <gasps> so I can't get in. So I go, hey, uh, you reclined your seat. And she was like, yeah, I haven't been able to recline it the whole flights. And I go, cool. Well, I can't sit down. So what are we going to do here? And she was like, well, uh, you're going to have to switch with somebody else. And I go, no. And this is when I lost it. And I go, and if you keep talking to me like that, I'm going to beat your fucking ass, your husband's ass right in front of you fun, on fun. the plane. So fun. So I go, if, if this is the beating that you want to take for your fucking wife, go ahead. And so we called a stewardess over and they fucking put her seat up for her. Because she wouldn't. She would not. Um, I had to sit down and they wanted to air marshal her or whatever the fuck it was and her? uh yeah her not you for threatening to no because everybody else he, he, but here's the thing on the plane and this is what this is why i bring up this story because everyone i didn't i didn't threaten to beat her ass her husband's ass oh okay. i said hey man okay, if, okay, if you don't okay, get okay, if you don't okay, get this okay. fucking lady under control get your like, fucking dog on a leash yeah <laughs> and i was like you're gonna fucking catch a beating oh, no. over shit your wife oh, is saying right no. now and because i had had it at this point and sure. um uh 
the other people around me, and this is why the other half of the internet is cheering this guy on. Everyone else who had seen this around me in, in the section in the rows were like, oh yeah, this woman was a complete fucking bitch. Right. And it was just exactly kind of what's happening now on the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I, I was polite and I tried to be polite and then that happened and... Um, Gosh, it just oh, here, here was the, the beauty of it. So people, though. Here was the beauty of it. I was already sitting when she got on. When she got up, when we got off the flight, she was 5'1". And I looked down at her and I go, I go, ma'am, at that height, what were you trying to stretch back to, 5'3"? What, mm. Like, is that where you were trying to get back to? Because uh, at this point, you, you know, were you just trying to gain a growth spurt? Like, what, what is it? Mm -hmm. um, and the husband didn't turn around. He didn't say shit. They didn't say shit. And it was just right. like... That was the worst it's ever gotten. And, dude, the stewardess has had to intervene in some fucking air marshal. But it was crazy, man. Uh, and people are at the end of their rope on flights. Yeah, yeah. And, and they change. I mean, they're just – that's not who they are. I mean, there's people that, like, scream at babies, like, shut that baby up. It's like, that's not you. Yeah. You are just going crazy because you've been brought to the edge. Correct. 